Hello there everyone and welcome to A Clash of Kings, the uh, Game of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade Warband. We're gonna test that out. So uh, let's go ahead and start a new game, shall we? So I believe it was, I can't remember exactly who of my subscribers told me um, or asked me to do this but uh, anyways I'm testing it out now so <clears throat> you go for a stroll in the streets of your hometown where you hear that uh, King Robert has been gored to death by a large boar the fishmonger that you're speaking with tells you that Eddard Stark the hand of the king tries to usurp the throne but the valiant King Joffrey, clearly never met him, uh, managed to foil his plot and peace has surely been restored. However, a few days later, a wary traveler arrives with more news. Following the imprisonment, imprisonment of Lord Stark, the northern lords marched south to defeat the Lannisters and free their liege. They ambushed the army of the Kingslayer, routed his force, and captured Sir Jamie. After which they broke the siege of Riverrun. All of a sudden, the odds seems to turn against King Joffrey, and his name is no longer being shouted in the streets. Um, making a quick decision, you decide to strike out. Hurriedly, sell off your meager positions, possessions, I should say, to a fat innkeeper. That's very specific. A fat one, and packed um, uh, only most essential things. You finally feel like you're in control of your own destiny, and that whatever your course, your course take, um, great deeds await you. Okay, so there's a little bit of difference here. Uh, I guess we can actually see what the different stuff. That we choose here. Gather companions, fog of war. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but anyways. You were born years ago. Your father was a landless knight. Um he served old Lord Wen Went as a so as a sworn sword, never improving his own or his family's lot in life. Um so I spent my early life as a noble in training. History craftsman. Let's have noble in training. And landless knight seems just about fine. Later you become a squire. Uh, a cell sword maybe. What does that change here? Cell sword. Squire. Let's see. Uh, cell sword. Changed something, but I can't really see what it is because this thing comes in the way. I think. Let's see. Square. Square. Cell sword. Uh, I think we'd go with square. Early life. Oh, he became a squire sort of pushing me towards knighthood and the reasons for my venture are mm, a lust for money and power being forced out of your home religious the lust of a loved one sense of duty won the lust uh, gives me ah they, they give different things maybe sense of duty power strike Weapon mastery, riding, tactic spotting, leadership. Uh, religious. Lust for money. Mm. Just sense of uh, wonder lust, I think, will do fine. Let's not spend too much time here, actually. Uh, allow me to quit without saving. We call ourselves Lord John because I always call myself that. Even though hardly start out as a lord. A uh, little more intelligence than. Ooh, we have crap charisma. 
And then, since I made the mistake in an earlier one, when I tested it out, strength at 10, because the sword you start with, you need 10 to actually wield it. Um, then we need these types of things. We've got some riding, tactics, spotting. We need inventory management, and I also think we need trade and prison management. Persuasion, always good. And how about... Yeah, we'll that's good. And let's start with one handed. That's and then one point in crossbow. That's good. So without taking too much time here, let's just quickly go through and pick something that's sort of okay and then I can spend ooh. Ah, you can actually have like um hound and be burnt that's interesting oh okay and you can have it on the other side as well or something nasty has gone down there i guess this is fine if we change the beard out a bit i think we need a full beard he looks a bit like some sort of yeah, that's fine. Maybe a bit darker hair color. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine as a start. Boom. Um, you join a merchant and his family traveling towards Storm's End. Uh, green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are all across the dark soil, the roll hills. <laughs> To catch a sight of one of great war horse that are right of the land rich. Okay. Following a long trek through the rainwoods, rainwood, you finally see the weeping town in the distance. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn where you quickly stash your belongings and go in search of a decent tavern where you can have. A well-deserved dinner, according to an old blind man sitting in the corner between two buildings and drinking a mug of steak. Once again, very, <laughs> very specific on this very the blind man with the mug of stale ale. A kraken has been seen off the coast of Dorne, and a five-headed calf has been born, killing its mother in the process. Surely an omen to be taken seriously. Dismissing the old fool as crazy, you continue towards the tavern. All of a sudden you hear a, a sound that stands your hair on neck. N stands the, the hairs on your neck. On end. On your neck. On your... on your, blah. You know the stuff. Someone's about to attack me. Just like in all Mountain Blade. Starts. Okay. So here we are. I've got a little knife. A little dagger. I got my sword. It looks nice. It looks very nice. Okay, so here's the brigand that's coming to attack me. Ah! Oh yeah. Ah! Do you know anything about the crazed draken? A kraken, I mean. Apparently not. I can't ask him either because I cut him to death. Oh, here's another one. Fat old man. I don't think he's gonna prove any problem. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure what uh, we can say f the same for the other fellow. That uh, That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, although the father knows he won't be the last. Anyway, let's talk more inside. There's a chill on the air that I'd rather be without. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, looking at the dawn, and then suddenly comes near near you to speak. Ooh. He's hanged a lot of garlic ab above the door. Ooh, he's got all kinds of nice stuff. This merchant. He has quite a feast going on here. 
with the amounts of food he's displaying. And then he's cooking something up. Oh, there we are. So we got door down there. Those people uh by now they should know to use a helmet. The door ish. The door ish people? I don't know. But I'm not entirely sure where we are. Wait, 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 wait. Rain Rainwoods. We're up there. Over the uh to the north of the Sea of Dorn. Somewhere there. Because I can see the Rainwoods. Anyways, let's talk to the old man. See what he has to say. Hey there. Now let me explain my proposition. You seem a little disorientated. I do not know who you are or where you're from. And to tell you the truth, I do not care. I'm a simple merchant and if I've learned anything it's that merchants are the first to suffer in hard times. So I'm planning to travel to another country. Peaceful and uh, rainless, I hope. I've heard there heard that in the free cities gold flows from watery fountains so maybe I'll go and try my fortune in Pentos or uh, Volantis Volan Volantis anyways I advise you before I leave to do the same and seek our fortune in other lands war is sure to engulf the seven kingdoms now that the hand has been executed and the people will do be nothing more than war fodder. Poverty feeds on the weak and the strong men abuse the sword and the lance to impose the power and control of the humble ones. In order to trade we must pay heavy taxes in each city, sort out bandits and pirates and pray that the local lord, ignore, ig ignorant and lazy, do not decide to get half of our merchandise to fund his next feast or buy a new horse for his son. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Take my advice and go across the narrow sea until a new king has been crowned and anointed by the High Septon. Law and unity will remain um, a virtue. Feasting table. A, vo vulture, a vulture's feasting table. So I say, seek your destiny elsewhere. I think I'll stay. War brings opportunity and I mean to seek my chance. Make my name for myself. Go to Essos? What do I care? You know, I think I think we'll stay on this side of the narrow sea. I got 200 coin in the quest. Oh, well, I suppose you're right at that. But remember this. War also brings maimed men, raped women, dead children and chattered hopes. Still, you have a certain look and ability to you. Take this silver and remember me. Should you ever make something of yourself. Thank you, my friend. Fair travels to you. Now with my newfound coin, I'll head out. Way Here, we yes, we are. Okay, so this is Dorn. I'm not too familiar with the Game of Thrones map. But now I know this is Dorn. And this was uh, the Stormlands, obviously. Not even sure what the Stormlands is. And then we got green stuff, the reach. And then, ooh, King's Landing. And then uh, we got Dragonstone. Um, the whale. Then I guess this, the north. I thought it would be higher up. I guess they, this goes, is the north plus. Oh, the north goes... Ah, and here's the wall! Although they haven't really bothered putting anything there. Then... Uh, and we've got the Lannisters over here. Um, ah, this is where the, the Iron Islands... Hmm. And across the sea... Where the old man is heading. We got those places.
the stuffs and stuff and stuff. Volantis. I guess this would be the area where what's it called? The Mother of Dragons is. I think. Or is she somewhere else? I'm not sure. Uh I wanna see one last place. There we go. Bravos. And then the big giant fellow stands there. Anyways, I think we got a quest. Let's see. Character? No. Just press Q. A New Beginnings Part 1. The merchant gave you a heavy bag of silver, enough to start your own career as a sell sword merchant or outlaw. Or begin the long and arduous journey towards lordship. You can strike out on your own or search the town for people who might need your services. Talk to the Septon Greybald Gary Garbold Gary Bold Gary Gar 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 Bold Mr. Bold in the castle of the weeping in the castle hall of the weeping town to learn more. Uh, this is the weeping town, so we'll head in to the weeping town and we'll go directly to the castle hall. To talk with this high septum. Ooh, nice. And you got a little stag on your helmet. How lovely. Uh, okay, there we go, the lord. Ah. Bold. I see you covered up your bold spot. Yes? Do you have any tasks for me? No, not right now, but I've heard that one of the tenants of Carrion Hall has been seeking a knight to get rid of an er uh, wraith. Anyways, he's been ha hanging out in the tavern. I also overheard Lord Swan, captain of the guards, uh, ba -ba -ba, talk about some letter he needed to deliver to some minor lord. Sir Clifford went out hunting this morning, but he should be back in a few hours. Ah, and yes, if you have time, Lord John, I need a letter delivered to Archmaster Haldron Hardon at the Citadel in Old Town. Very well. That was a lot of stuff he gave us there. Oh, I got everything. Okay, um... Captain of the guards, let's start with one. Let's start by delivering that stupid letter. Mm, told of a farmer they need help. No. Uh, letter to... Okay, in Old Town. We're gonna go to Old Town. This is Weeping Town. This is Miss Town. Where's Old Town? Fellowwood, High Stack. Old Mill, Old Town. Where is Old Town? Storm's End. Wait, did it say? Let's check again. Mm, 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 mm. Hardon at the Citadel in Old Town. So the place is called Old Town. Uh, kind of locations. Old town. Old castle. Old town. Show on map. Where are we going? Oh, all the way over here. Over in the reach. Okay, maybe we'll talk with someone who's actually a bit closer. So, yeah, we'll wait with them. With that, uh, Captain of the Guards, e Castle Hall, in the Weeping Town. Where are in the Weeping Town? So that should be easy. Castle Guard. There he is! Sir Clifford. Yes, can I help you? Sir Clifford. The Septon sent me with a... L uh, me, you had need of someone to deliver a letter? Ah, yes I do. The maiden daughter of Samond Templeton, the knight of nine stars, is turning 13 this next moon and 
uncle has decided to hold a tourney in her honor. My late wife was at Templeton's birth, making the youngest girl my niece by marriage. I've been invited to attend the melee, but my duties keep me here. However, I um, was always fond of my lady wife, and for her sake, I wish to send a namesday present. Okay, what can I do? Take this letter and this ruby ring, which belongs to my lady wife. Sure, I'll deliver the the ring. I'm an errand boy, it seems, to start off with. So we're gonna go. Uh. Uh. T -t 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 Clifford asks you to deliver. Castellan of nine stars. It's about to take place. Nine stars close to the snake wood in the. W Wait, the whale. That's that's all the way up here, isn't it? Yeah. What was it called now again? Why do we have to go so far away? Snakewood. There we go. Nine star. All the way up there. I have to travel all across. Mm, let's see about this stupid peasant then. A farmer in need of help. You find him in the tavern. Let's go to the tavern then. I have no business riding around all over Westeros looking for... There's loads of people in here. Maybe I should... Oh, that's that. Haven't you gone yet, you? Hello there. I forget that everyone speaks the exalted language. My great home. Okay. A spice merchant. No, I don't think I want you in the, my party. Mm, would do well to know me. I travel a lot across the world and here provide information. Okay, so it's a wanderer. Good man, Tom. Or Melly Waterman. Hello there. Ah, so this is the guy I'm so. Um, yes. Yes. A ghost saw it myself only three weeks ago, pale and with red eyes. It was flying through the night. Oh, hmm, perhaps I should look this right myself. Very well, let's go. Um let's Okay. Okay, if you're gonna insult me I've never heard of the Unsullied before, but perhaps you can enlighten me. Well, I welcome you into my service. But he said I was a non-something mongrel. So we're not going to bring him on. How about Melly? Just a minute, I'm pondering the mysteries of life. What? Ha! Ah, I'm just yanking your tail. Ain't pondering anything. Bit drunk though, but ah, uh, what can I do for you? People call me Melly because, well, it's my name. Member of the House of Waterman from the north, my brother is sworn to Lord Bolton. But daughters, ah, uh, they're not supposed to run around in mail and fight with swords. White Harbor is uh, where most end up. If they don't marry, special sort of women who does not marry, quite content. Dun, dun, dun. Sh should I bring hit and uh okay could you spare six thousand coins for me to pay him I've heard hack the man at ooh 
Now I know what you're thinking. Six thousand coins for a whore, but I'm just. But it's just not him. It's the wine. It's okay, so no people going with me from this place. There was a lot of people. I wasn't su suspecting to having that many people at start. Uh, let's see, where were we going? We were supposed to attack uh, ca in Karin Hall. Karin Hall. Hopefully that's not too far away. Karin Hall. Karin Hall. Okay, I can't seem to find that. Uh, there we go! Off we go! You've been warded to carry a banner! Significance your status. Uh, what banner would I choose? This is the this the famous ones like the Targaryens, Lannisters, Baratheons. Mm -mm -mm. What sh should I take? Lots of birds. Ooh, flayed man. I'm not sure what I what my character should be. Maybe <laughs> completely black. Uh, that seems dreary. A fish there on the page. Is that has Tully? Maybe I should just take my. <laughs> I'm not sure taking a famous, the sigil of a famous house, rather just take one, but there's quite a few famous here, so I'm not sure if like everyone is already sort of a taken, taken banner. Let's just take something simple like this. Out for a oh. stroll, are we? Um, <laughs> question is if I can take them on. One versus eight, but I have not really fought that much in this mod. Feels as though I might uh, end up in trouble here. I didn't have any much trouble beating that one guy, but there's eight of these bandits. I feel as though I should probably stay out of fighting. I like the scenery though. I wonder... Probably the, we'll look for some features in the terrain where I can uh, split the group up. I'm thinking that three tree and those rocks over there. Using that to split the group up. Hopefully they do not have any bowmen. Yes, they do have bowmen. Oh! Let's see if we can use this to split them up a bit. And then I think I'll go for the bowman first. Oh, he's, he's, you can see he's splitting off quite far away from the rest. Banditry! Ah, oh, that one hit me. And it took quite a bit of health. No, not against a spear guy. Oh. I haven't killed anyone yet. Now I took an arrow to the knee and one to the chest earlier. Oh. I should... That didn't go very well. Hopefully it didn't steal too much. They stole my peasant's tunic and 56 gold. But they actually brought me possibly closer to Karin Hall. Okay, so they stole... Ah, I, I guess I had an extra pair of clothes. But that didn't go well. It might not have set the... Uh, uh, damage to player. Let's set that to easiest. Just so I don't... I am, after all, a heroic character set in an important quest. I'm not sure, should I go in there at night to fight the ghost? 
Let's head down to um, Stone Stonehelm, and we'll hang out here for the night. Visit the Ten Bells. Recruit eleven Stonehelm knights. Uh, okay. Well, I can hardly afford that, so let's just go in t to the town. Ooh, fancy. Let's uh, take a walk around the castle, and then we'll stay here for the night. Uh huh. Oh, this is quite a big place. If you're attacking, I guess you come in here and on that wall, and then charging up. Hmm. Anyways. Let's go uh, wait until we have some health and then we ride to Karen Hall. Let's see, what is my health right now? 83%. I think that's enough. So let's go to Karen Hall and meet this ghost. Enter the village. I like the pictures and stuff. Music! And the village is empty. How scary. Wait, do I've got oh no, I thought I thought it was like a symbol on my crotch, but it's actually looks as though it's the sort of zipper. Uh Hopefully this music isn't trademarked or anything. Oh wait. No, oh, it's the it's the It's the flame making noises. I thought it was <laughs> skeletons or something. White walkers Okay, so the village is abandoned. Although they've sort of strangely abandoned since they're cooking this. Hmm. No one seemed to be home. There is a road up there, so maybe I should follow that. I don't think there is a wraith or wraith here or any ghost type thing. But you never know, do you? Let's make our way through these haunted forests. Kinda scary. If I if I came here alone, living in this world, and I came to this and there was no one here, I'd probably skedaddle. Especially if I'm alone. Oh we got some sort of Stonehenge kinda thing up here. Am I gonna have to fight a ghost here? Are those skulls? Yes, it is. Ooh. Oh, I see a skeleton up there. This is kind of those roleplay moments where you quick draw your sword. So you don't have to draw it in the middle of combat and spend points. The music has stopped. Wait, am I supposed to go down near? Oh, there's someone down there. Someone in the crypt. I guess we we'll go talk with him. Hey there! Humph? Er... Uh, have you seen a... By the gods another one? 
Look, I'm no wraith, as I tried to tell the screaming girl when she came up here. I've been sent here by the citadel to do some excavating, and I'll be gone in a day or two. You seem to have uh, caused quite a stir in the village. Why didn't you just explain to them what you were doing here? Ah, but then I had to explain to them what excavation means. And before you know it... They're coming to me to bless their cows, heal their wounds, and wed their daughters. Keep ignorance of peasants away from me, and I can die a happy man. Okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Return to good man Tom and explain the situation. This could have been... Uh, for some reason I thought almost that they're gonna be a ghost or something. There are supernatural stuff in the uh, Game of Thrones world, but... Maybe not... Oh! Karen all actually disappeared. No, I do not want to fight you stupid bastards again. Well, actually, I'm a bit, little bit better prepared now since I've uh, cheated to... Uh, Reduce the damage they do on me. Oh, that was just farmers. Let's make our way back to the Weeping Town. It's a terrible name for town. Let's see that good man, Tom. Hey there, good man, Tom. Um, I've care taken care of the. Can you tell me more? Well, we grow a lot of beets. Okay. Uh, truly well done, sir. I knew a true knight would have no trouble dealing with such a demon. Any man who is shrouded in his faith can withstand such a beast. Here, please take this. Thank you. Whee! 80 coins and lots of experience. Thank you, Tom. Never mind. Whee! Then we did that quest. Now we need to do the other ones where we have to travel. No, wait. Where we have to travel far, far away. But first, oh yeah, I gained a level. Let's do that first, actually. Um, what should I put in? Intelligence or strength, maybe. So my sword blow becomes stronger. No intelligence. And then we can put some points into. Foraging, that's a new one. Foraging, allow your, allows, allow the party to forage for food, for five food per skill level, camp siege rating, and increase foraging range. There's probably good stuff once we uh, advance through this, but right now I think I'm gonna need this, because finding those stupid, um... Stupid bandits didn't go that well. So anyways, uh, where should I go now? Either I can go to Old Town or I can go... So I can go either through here all the way up to there, nine stars. Which is quite a way. Or I could go to Old Town. Which is also quite a way away. A way away away. Mm, you know what? I think we need some more fighting before we end this episode because I'm looking at the time here. No! The door is locked. Let's come back in the morning and we'll fight some more. Now when I've uh, got the... Uh, put the system to my to in my favor. Ooh. This looks nice. There's actual people here. Sort of. Yes, yes, I know all of this. It's the same in all of the mountain blades. Possibly should have picked up a shield, maybe. Oh, there goes that guy. Okay, we got a shield bastard coming over here. Come here, then, you bastard. Ah, oh, crap. 
Oh. That's cheating! There's two on one! You are not supposed to... Anyways... Did I get any coins for that? No. Bug off then. Maybe I should buy some weaponry. I have 400. Ooh, most of the things here are very expensive. A light spear. Maybe I, I probably need a shield. Could be good. Or maybe some armor. Something on my head would be nice. I require quite a lot of strength to have most of these. Um, oh, they're expensive, all of them. Just this leather hood costs 200. You know what? Just against the cold, we put this hat on. Ooh, Santa Claus type of deal. I'm an elf. Just uh, to keep keep warm. Um, arms. There wasn't really anything. Well, I felt like I needed. Maybe I, no. That's expensive. A shield. Also expensive. Probably save the coin for now. Anyways, there we go. I think done enough time there. So. I hope you enjoy this Clash of Kings, and uh, yeah, if you like it, comment, li uh, like, subscribe, and whatnot, and I will be seeing you for the next one. Bye!